grab her this time. The groundsman. Scene one, take one. Are you gonna Um, the deputy principal came along and said to me, I need you to clean up something in the boys' toilet. And I thought to me, this could be interesting. We get there, and there's this perfectly made birthday cake, candles and all, made out of human feces. And I just looked at him and I said, no, thank you, this one is not mine. Okay. Um, a couple of young boys come to me one day and said to me, oh, Mr. Malcolm, I've put a football up into the tree, can you get it out? I said, yep, I had a shifter in my hand and a bit of rope, so I tied the shifter on the end of the rope and thought, well, I'd throw it up and hit the ball, you know, knock it out of the tree. The problem is the rope was too short. And as I threw it, it comes straight back. Right in the nose. This is how it's done, kids. <laughs> Coming to work one morning and finding a man on the ground that we thought was dead and trying to wake him up was the hardest. You know, we had to sort of kick his feet. He didn't move. The second time we kicked him, we thought, uh oh. Third time we kicked him, he moaned. We thought, oh, okay, he might be alive. Then he eventually sat up. Yeah, bugger! Uh, that'd have to be a dead possum out of a down pipe. It was about, the down pipe was about this far off the ground. The possum was halfway out. It had been there for a couple of days, so it really started to blade up. And we had to try and drag him out with him, make, without making him explode. Because he was already starting to really... <laughs> Bugger, come off! It had to be a hand injury with a broken window in a classroom. I came in one morning, one of the windows was sort of not right, so I put my hand up against it, and as I did, it exploded. And I pulled my hand away with a big piece of glass sticking out, and I ended up with a big scar right through there with it. I had to stitch it up. Bugger! Yes, we have actually. It was a little black turtle one day, and I thought he was the sweetest little dog ever until I went up to him, and he tried to have a go at me, and I thought, oh, hang on. So I went and got a rope, and I chased him around for nearly two hours. Every time I got him in a corner, he'd go for me, so I had to try and lasso him. Eventually, I did get him, and he turned out to be a sweet little dog because he just sort of sat down there. Once he had the rope around him, he was a different dog again. Um, plovers, yes. I went down the oval one day to pick up a football that someone kicked down there and not knowing the plover's eggs were only about five feet away from the ball, I just walked over casually to pick it up. Next minute, two big plovers either side of me. 
started, you know, trying to hit in the back of the head. So I had to run. I left the ball there. I didn't go back for it until I brought the machine down and sort of drove up with the machine and picked it up with that. It was the only way I could get the ball. I'll show you how it's done, kids. Got the bugger. Well, I was a farm boy when I was young and I didn't like working inside, so when this job came available, I thought, yeah, I like outdoors, so yeah, 27 years later, I've been doing it. Um, and it's mainly because of the kids. Um, what we do is beneficial to the kids, um, you know, keeping the grounds clean, improving it, and, um, things like that, yeah. So, yeah, all grounds are the same, we all do it for the kids. Um, job satisfaction, making the place safe, tidy, making improvements, yeah, so I'd say we're all the same in that respect. Um, not much more I can say about on that one. Back here, you little bugger. 